There's a lot of, how many of you guys right now feel a little bit stuck, confused, because you don't know what your purpose is? You're like, Pedro, here's what I hear all the time. Pedro, I just want to please the Lord. I want to just do the will of God for my life. I just want to hear a good and faithful servant. I, how many guys, that's you. You want to do the will of the Lord for your life. You want to do all those things. And I'm not making fun of you. I mean, I kind of, in a way, I kind of am. <laughs> but that's a good thing to want. That means your heart is, your heart is yielded. Okay? So let me help you out with all those people that need some clarity. One, let me tell you for those of you that are lacking understanding of the purpose for your life. Let me give it to you right now. Let me tell you right now the purpose for your life, and this could help some of you. The purpose for your life is Romans 8.29. Romans 8.29. Okay? For those God foreknew, which was you, you were foreknown, He predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son. That is the purpose of your life, to be conformed into the image of His Son, Jesus. That is the purpose for your life. Now, you can do that a million different ways. You can do that as a barber. You can do it as a realtor. You can do it as a loan officer. You can do it as, as a, a travel agent. You can do it in network marketing. You can do it in traditional business. You can do it as, you can do it coaching single moms. You can do it, you can do just about anything you want to do. And as long as you're doing it in the image of God, of the Son of God, you're fine, you're good to go. So the purpose of your life is to be conformed to the image of Jesus. What you do is less important than how you do it. So, let's talk about a much better idea right now to give you some direction. I want to help you. Um, I want to help you, Liz. Forget, forget purpose. Purpose can be overwhelming. Let's talk about assignments. Because assignments can be seasonal. Liz, who do you feel assigned to right now? Who do you feel a calling to right now? Liz, who do you feel like your heart can go for? Which is, who can you add the most value to? If you have different ideas, Liz, that's fine. But which idea pulls on your heart the most? Which idea allows you to create the most amount of value? Who and where can you create the most amount of value? Where is your favor? Following your favor is a key to promotion. Some of you guys have favor over here, but you want to be over here. And you're like, no, no, no I don't want to do this thing. I don't want to do that. But that's where your favor is. Follow your favor. Why would you not want to follow favor? So I would ask you this question, Liz. Where is your favor? You've been struggling for years. So let me, make, let me give you an idea. Just pick one. This is what Christians do. We, and not just Christians. A lot of people do this. We think too much. We think about it. We go in circles. We go in circles. We go in Well, I can do this. I can do that. I can do that. Well, what about that? No, 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 no. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Mental exhaustion. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to get a word about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Meanwhile, the days are evil. What does that mean? That means this thing, don't stop. Time being wasted. Just pick one. Flip a coin. Cast lots. You're like, Pedro, flip a coin? That don't sound very spiritual. Let me tell you, when Judas killed himself and they had to replace the 12th apostle, they had to replace the 12th apostle they cast lots. He literally cast, they cast lots. They rolled the dice to pick who would be the 12th apostle. So if you don't know what to do, if you're totally stuck, if you prayed all them prayers, if you got all the counseling and you still don't know, just pick one and go. And then at least God can direct you. God cannot steer a parked car. It's kind of hard to steer a parked car. Just start moving in any direction. And say, Lord, I don't know where to go, but I'm going to start going this way. He's like, hey, no, not that way. Okay, great. At least I know something now. Okay? Action. Action. Take some action. What's in your heart? Where can you add the most value? Money follows value. Guys, you know why I've tried so many, um, I've tried so many things in my life. And I get them going. I get started. I have some success. And then what happens? I kind of then... I get bored. I get tired of it. You know why? My heart wasn't in it. My heart wasn't in it. 
100X I knew was special around week number two. Guys, understand 100X is literally about four months old. I launched this in June because I felt like the Lord was calling me to do this. I literally had no idea what we're doing. There was no business plan. There was no idea of having a conference. There was no idea of, of having anything more than just me giving back and helping some folks out. And literally by week two, I found myself like, wait a minute, like, why do I care so much about these people? Why do I care so much about these, these people in my masterclass? I'm literally taking more time to help coach and mentor and train these people in my masterclass than I'm giving to my own business that pays my bills. I found myself, my heart was pulling me more to serve over here in this free community than even, even in my core business. And, I, and, then, and then when I have my, and then when I saw people having success like Liz and made their first thousand dollars, I literally had a testimony. I remember the day where one, where one of my 100X students made a th their first thousand dollars. That very same day, that very same day, I made thirty thousand dollars. I was happier in my heart. My heart rejoiced more for the thousand dollars that someone else made than the thirty thousand I made that day. And I'm like, what is going on? What's going on is that God got my heart. He grabbed my heart. And it's like, boom! This is your heart. This is what's been your heart the whole time. And I had to literally trick you into doing this so you would see this is the heart. This is your heart, to expand kingdom people, to expand my kingdom through business. This is what you've been looking for your whole life, and now you're going to do it. It's like, wow. Wow. So where is your heart being pulled? 